apparently I don't have a steady enough hand to do good line work on this because it is janky as hell. So today we will be designing this awesome mannequin. I don't want to show you all too much there. So if you want to see the final result, please watch till the end of the video and let's go. Okay, well, I do not know if I'm going to even post this video. And hey, if you've seen that intro, I guess I decided to post this video. I have yet to start this mannequin painting here. Basically, I don't even know what I'm doing. I kind of just want to have fun and be a little bit loose and just do a whole bunch of fun designs. I'm actually gonna do like tattoo designs on this mannequin quickly just so that. And if you haven't seen my last video that I did for a mannequin, I will post it up here. I will get started and just gesso this. Let's just go, bam. Okay, well, as you can tell, this thing definitely needs a few layers. Ooh, I got dizzy there. Did you get dizzy? Let me know in the comments below if you just got a little dizzy there because I definitely did. Anyways, this needs about two more layers and then we're gonna get started on actually doing some really cool skin tone. So, let's just get started with that skin tone part and go dizziness. look realistic because I'm kind of trying to go for a more of a realistic look here with this skin tone. I think that it looks pretty good. I'm happy with how this turned out but I don't like a few of those blotches that kind of got built up. I'll make it work it's fine it kind of looks like you know a little bit more of a skin tone. I'm thinking that I'm gonna add a few like beauty marks or something throughout the skin to make it look a little bit more realistic but I do want to show you all this. So. Let me take you right here so I can show you. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up. Staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always 
Posting the pictures, trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Taking time out to be And live my life hey. Taking just to be And live my life Don't take it personal just building, it's my season, lay foundation, make a name for generations, please and make a, then take a break or a little vacation and chasing blues away, hey, hey. you always posting the pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in, yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. Okay, well, it is now the next day, and this has, you know, it coming along pretty good. I feel like the only crummy thing is, it's so nice outside. Like, look. It's absolutely beautiful outside. I hate being inside sometimes, but I kind of left this all yesterday. So, it is time to start painting all the black parts and I'm going to do black and red and maybe add some purple for these tattoos here. So my main concerns are right there and other areas where I have erased some lines and it has discolored the skin tone. Now I don't know what I'm going to do about that if uh, I'm just going to leave it, which I don't think I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to try my best to match up this skin tone color and kind of make everything look seamless and nice. I do not want to do hyper realism here or anything, I just want it to look a little bit better. I want to start the line work on all this, so let's do that and go. just thinking what might make this a little bit better is if I were to add a little bit of blue like a dark blue in with this black because most of the time if you have a tattoo it has like kind of a black blue look I mean when you think about it look at all this I mean it is black it looks a little bit more black here on the camera but it has a slight blue tone to it just a bit so uh, that being said, I think I'm going to add a little bit of blue to this to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and add some blue and go back over this part and see how it looks. Yeah. All right, let's do that. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. Summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have 
Seriously. So you might be asking yourself, why am I upset? Well, apparently I don't have a steady enough hand to do good line work on this because it is janky as hell. So I'm going to probably give up on this even though I really wanted to do this. <sighs> I don't know. It is wobbly and all over the place. <sighs> okay, well, it's now two days later and I apologize I was so frustrated that day, but the problem is, I actually don't know what the problem is. I have this issue where I twitch constantly, all the time, depending on my anxiety levels, how much caffeine I had. Uh, you won't see it too much in these videos because I edit a lot of my twitches out. Like sometimes I'll be speaking and I'll twitch and then I'll go back and repeat what I said and just edit that out in post, but unfortunately sometimes when I'm trying to do good line work, I uh, tend to twitch and this surface that I'm working on, it's not super nice. Like, I mean, it's not, it's a nice surface, but it's not, it's not even. And uh, depending on my hand position, it's very shaky. I know that it tends to happen to a lot of people, but uh, with that and me twitching, I don't know, it's not Tourette's I'm sure, but who knows? <laughs> but I did kind of mess around with it a little bit more. I do want to finish this. I'm not going to give up on this quite yet because I wouldn't be the ambitious artist if I were to just forget about it and give up on it. So let's just carry on and do the rest of this line work. You know what? I think in the end this will turn out. So, all right, let's carry on with it, go. super happy with this here so far. I'm done completing all the tattoos and I decided to go in and touch up all the areas that I was not happy with, like some of the wibbly wobbly lines there, even though it's still not perfect. And I try my best to match up the skin tone here, but I do like some of the inconsistencies throughout the skin tones. And also the layers that were done on here kind of Give it a cool, unique look. So it is now time to gloss it. I'm just gonna be using this, which it's from Liquid Tex, and it's just a glazed medium. It works really, really well. And then afterwards, I may do a spray coat of gloss on this, and then we will do a nice reveal to wrap it all up. So let's quickly gloss it together here and then do the final reveal. Okay, go. <laughs> Mobile phone, expensive shoes. 
okay, that was super satisfying. But before I show you the final results here, Stevie wants to say hi again. <laughs> I'm just joking, but he did want to say hi. Okay, like I said, before I show you the final results here, I do want to let you all know, if you're interested in any of my artwork here, that a portion of the proceeds do go to Therapeutic Paws of Canada. And if you don't know what Therapeutic Paws of Canada is, I will leave the link down in the description below. So without further ado, let's show the final results, go! Thank you everyone for staying to the end. And remember, if you are interested in any of this or myself, please follow me on all my other social media and I will put that right here. I have been trying to do all the TikTok and whatnot, but I do tons of Snapchat, so that's really fun. And if you don't mind, please give this video a like, share it if you could, everything helps. I really appreciate it and remember, Subscribe if you have not already and do all that fun stuff as you all know. Oh wait, remember, till next time, stay ambitious. Okay, see you later.